Hi, this is Robert at XI Computer, and today we're going to introduce you our newest uh, high-end workstation, the XI M Tower 2P64X, based on the uh, Xeon 5500 series and Ney Allen. Um, before getting into the details of how we configured the system inside the box, let's take a look at uh, what kind of uh, case we use. Um, we use a, a Cooler Master HAF932. Um, in the name HAF says uh, high air force or a quarter air force if you want to um, see it from a gaming perspective. Um, the concept of this case is to convey the maximum air ventilation to the side components while maintaining a, a low level of noise. Um, this achievement uh, is obtained with uh, two major um, technical um, aspects. The first one is um, the use of gridded uh, um, base. Each base has a very high-end uh, grid here, as we can see. And then um, the bottom part, not only we have a grid in the front, but the grid on the side, so you have a, a great area of air intake from the front. Uh, the second um, um, achievement is, uh, is obtained using big fan. Uh, we have three 23 centimeter fans. Um, one in the front, uh, taking air inside. One on the on the left hand side of the case is again the 23 centimeter fan, taking air inside um, against the video card. So that allows to use uh, multiple video cards high end and still keep it cool, like two, three video cards on SLI mode or cross file configuration. Um, there is also a, a, a third fan, 23 centimeter fan, is on the top, and is uh, exhausting the air uh, from the top. So the air goes up hot and it's going to be exhausted on the, on the top. Um, in addition to that, we have a, um, a third uh, um, 13 centimeter fan in the back of the case, um, exhausting out. Now, let's take a look at the case inside and see uh, how it's configured. Okay, here we go. Uh, we open the case and we can see inside. Um, first thing, the two CPUs, the Xeon. Um, um, 5500 series that we use here is the Xeon 55, X 5570s. Those are um, relatively high clock speed, uh, uh, 2.93 gigahertz. Um, there's also a version available at uh, uh, 3.2 tops for the time. Um, those um, those Xeons are uh, each one of them has their own on-chip memory controller. So there are three banks of RAM. Uh, two independent banks of RAM of which they're organized in a triple channel configuration um, and we populated them uh, with uh, 12 gigabyte each of the two bands at DDR3 1333. That's the highest speed on a dual processor configuration uh, obtainable today. Uh, the RAM is expandable to uh, 24 gig per bank, uh, scaling down at 1066 megahertz. On the video card, this unit is, um, is of course designed for high-end rendering, um, um, video editing, and uh, graphics design uh, w where multiple cores utilization is, is a must. And so we uh, couple them with a, a very high-end card from NVIDIA, the Quadro CX. Quadro CX is a video editing card um, with very high GPU performance and 1.5 gig of video RAM. As a variety of output support, like stereo, uh, dual DVI, uh, dual link, and uh, HDCP, among others. And um, also the, the disk throughput is achieved here with a RAID 0 configuration of four um, Western Digital Verossi Raptor 10,000 RPM drive. Relatively inexpensive, but very, very, very well efficient, efficient for this utilization. Um, they give around 600 uh, gigabyte of uh, gross capacity. There's ample room for expanding more uh, inside and outside um, with accessible and internal base. And the power supply is a general 1250 watt from Cooler Master. Um, the unit is relatively quiet as, as you guys uh, can hear, um, even with all this power. Looking closer how the CPUs are, in, are organized, we, the Nihalen, um, brought back the multi, the hyper thread concept. So in addition to having four cores, uh, we also have here eight threads per CPU. So for a total of 16 threads, this is particularly 
uh, important application like Photoshop and, uh, and rendering applications. Um, the unit can run multiple CAD packages uh, very well, like Autodesk Inventor, SolidWorks, and uh, like here, for example, I think we have a copy of AutoCAD. Um, for more information about this unit, you guys can visit our website at www.xicomputer.com. Thank you very much. Bye.